It is Tuesday again, and we have our DM here. Welcome back to the Three Star Channel, where the content is exactly what you expect it to be. 3.5 stars. It's getting better, apparently. And on today's evening, we are asking the real Three Star questions. Oh, no. For example, why do people poop? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're moving on. <laughs> no, no, that really is Give a, us a recap. two star yeah, thing. Yeah, I get Let's so see. listen up, pineapple. <laughs> and we're gonna get Gobby ready to talk. For her. I've hot. slept numerous times. Uh, my memory. Um, You're fine. Suck it up. Let's. Let me give the to... spark notes so that he can give the actual summary. Kai, Let's we fought stop. something at the very end. We did. F what did we fight? Me and me and Scarif fought something at the very end. Oh my yeah. Uncle. Um, we oh, traveled. Yeah. So last time. On journey to the Fey, they smacked somebody. Uh, they summoned him, and then they said, "Let's fucking fight." And if, uh, <laughs> let's see, Scaramouche faced the consequences of his actions. He actually didn't get hurt that bad. It, 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 it didn't really go that bad, but he well, needed to get off. Scare up. face. Where you all have faced the consequences? Oh, uh, let's see. see. What else happened? Um, Talk about ah, bad dreams. We started traveling. Scara is capable of. Ro Rowing a whole boat across a river. By himself. That By himself. Because Eula and Aramis failed. <laughs> Eula left. I gave you I guys was After to... she failed once. And y'all kept talking about it. You so did she it was twice. Like, nice. you no. Did, I, no. You did it twice. Situation rolled twice. After the first one, Eula went downstairs. The situation stayed up there. Oh, yeah. Situation <laughs> failed the second one. Though. Situation failed the second one. We were rolling down the river, playing the foggy bottom breakdown. Uh, hillbilly shit happened. We're in some really cold weather. Baron and Nero. Oh, yeah. You uh, uh, we are freezing our, we are freezing our metaphorical and literal tits off. You bothered, uh, Barney enough that he dropped, uh, clothes in front of us and, and stole his money. his money. I got a cloak and a hat. We walk for a very long time and then we see a river and snowy mountains and my uncle shows up. Boom, that was it. Yeah. Also, I had a bedroom. Woo! Yes, you did. Honestly, half of my moves were from Edgy. <laughs> I mean, they were the most important part to you. I need you to know I was confused why the first thing I wrote was, I get to Kai and he's really sweaty. <laughs> well, that's what you I was like, wait a minute, what did we start this session with? And I remember. Not that. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> oh, no. DM summary. He got a vision. They decided to travel. She decided to be annoying as shit because her tits were freezing off. No, yeah. her tits were cold. We're fine. Mine was cold. I just know y'all's were gonna be bad. Yeah, hers was fine. She was already in a fur coat. I already have my fluffy kit stuff, remember? Anyway. My tits were cold. <laughs> They're both just curling up and freezing off. Anyways. Oh, that's fine. Um, Elder Tor decided to charge them a hefty price for some coats. Not them. Just Eula. <laughs> I ain't getting no more. Eula's basically the party bank. Let's be honest. She's Not right now. Eula about to be broke. Because all that, here, have a have a 100 platinum tip. Have a 200 platinum tip. Well, don't worry. So what you're saying is track of that. Apparently that's that. going to be good stuff for me later, hopefully. <laughs> I'm building for later things. No. For whenever I, I campaign against your mother, more people are willing to follow me. Uh, they finally reach the place described in A's hint. And then she decided to summon an ally from the organization they joined at the very beginning of this campaign called Mockingbird Song. Which happened to be his uncle. Hansel. Uncle A. They decided Who gets hyped up on adrenaline like it's a real drug. Look, you can't this, but... We should bottle adrenaline and sell it. I heard Adderall. Not adrenaline. Wow. Okay, so I love the energy. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading about spells. I love it, I love it, I love it. So what are you guys doing? Or should I just drop a dragon like it's Skyrim? Uh, we literally just yeah. finished the fight with Do we get to absorb its soul? Can I absorb its soul? No. <laughs> Sorry. Can, you Can I seduce the soul? Can I seduce the soul? Can I seduce the soul? <laughs> Apparently you could. So, what is everyone currently 
me be ring, Eula. Okay, we just finished the fight. Like, yeah, is we, he still the there? The last note I had was yeah. Scarra wins. I'm trying to re read my notes and I forgot that the alcohol I drink or the drug I drank on the boat, you specifically said strong caramel spicy. <laughs> and I wrote strong caramel spicy alcohol? <laughs> Sorry. Re Ed, I'm rereading my notes. Sorry, we just finished the thing with Ansel. He mm -hmm. just walked out of the circle and closed it. And I walked over to Kai and Ansel. Yep. Um, the two who are... Who you had was thought, fuming. The two who had fuming. thought... You guys have lost the spell slots, but regained the health from the fight. Nice. We didn't use spells. Because you well, said yeah. magic wasn't usable. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Any feats you used, though. Yeah. Any like Any I didn't get potions. my bardic inspirations back, Any and I didn't get potions. my potions. Yep. That was what I was referring to, and I understood. Spell know slots why. just came out. It's cool. We understood you. Got gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So how's it going? I'm trying to ask what everyone's doing. I was am. Standing next to my uncle, me and Scarrow were. Yoda was fuming. And we were like your uncle. I, I just asked I Ansel if he knows how to get into my mind safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just asked that. No, no, no. I did. Just asked that. I'm sitting there waiting for an answer. You are fuming and not paying attention to shit. I said I went over that at the very end, but I'm very much hyped up on adrenaline. And you were fuming. I'm hyped up on adrenaline. That was like mostly Denver. Yeah. No, Eula, he specifically said she had, like, puffs of smoke coming out of her nose. She is hyped She's up. She's not a... A fire dragon, she's a poison one. It'd be little clouds of poison. Little clouds of poison. Yeah, so I'm gonna yeah, come right. up real close to you and give you a kiss. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> give us something, but I'm just saying. She said there was specifically puffs of some kind of cloud coming out of the way. What hmm. are you doing? God fucking. Please do not be fucking. Don't no, god fucking. <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> no. <laughs> Meadow? Where? Wait, Honestly? what? I'm Where's just gonna get a Meadow God. I'm just standing there with that dumb look on my face, like, so that was a thing. You have a dumb look? I'm, I'm not... You can have a look on your face? I'm not... You have a face? Did Aramis just go... Yeah, more or less. <laughs> Aramis' not... expressions of the tilt of his head. I'm not gonna lie, I have a song stuck in my can he head, even tilt and his head the only part wouldn't... about it that I can remember is the tune. And I do not know how to find that song because I want to listen to it so bad, but I don't know what to look for. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're being like right there's now. music playing in my head, and I don't know what to do. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yes. It sounds vaguely similar to a lute. If you what want is to be it? evil, like... <laughs> Dang. Oh, not funny. Not funny. No, 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 no. The song, the the th I can't remember what the name of it is, but the song I've got in my head is. I don't know, but it's also almost 8 o'clock at night, so we need to go ahead and... Ansel! Is yes. everybody listening? Yes. Yes. I'm listening, I promise. She's also... He's also on, like, D&D &D stuff, so... Okay, so... Promise. He's not just playing... Reword off. your question so we can get back in. Do you know a way to get into my head safer? Okay, the way you look so cute, very odd. Yep, yep, we do. <laughs> DM question. How would modify memory affect this? Like, memory diving. If that were a spell that I were to pick up. It modifies it though, does it actually look at it? You change a memory. Yeah, you're not wanting to change my memories. No, I know, I'm just like, is. Never mind. It'll give you happy memories. Kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> your friends never die! <laughs> would you never would do believe that it if you failed your safe? I know. I would never do that to you. Hmm. Aya never died, she just wanted to go study abroad. <laughs> <laughs> just went to Who? the farm. Your sister. Elaine? Elaine never died. Not she Anne. <laughs> Elaine never died. She went to study abroad. Weird flex, but okay. She got put into a boarding school. <laughs> For people that study at night. <laughs> and only at night. And drink red Sure, sure. People. Elaine went backpacking through the material plane. 
Any who's it? Um, he's basically going to kind of look at you and just kind of be like, so you want to be alive by the end of it, yes? Yes. Preferably. How many people? Eula said something about everyone, but if it could not be everyone. Mm. Just one. What? I just picked up spell because of class features. I am fairly certain I have been using it wrong. Do you have a time limit? Like, right. does this have to be a now thing? It doesn't have to be like right now, but. Good. Then it's doable. I know a guy. Who specifically owes me <coughs> a favor from sleeping with his sister. Sleeping with your sister? Not sleeping with his sister. Not sleeping. Anyways, I'm sure I can have him write up a spell scroll. It would only be a one-time use, though, so you couldn't mess it up. Okay. <laughs> but as long as it looks nothing given like the a... time frame, but yeah, I think I could go hunt down that monster park by like at least the end of tomorrow. You guys wouldn't happen to have, like, any Mind Flayer brains on you, like, right this second, would you? Shh, I knew I should have blown that guy up harder. <laughs> we, we know where <laughs> some might be luck. dead. <laughs> Point you in the right three. It will take me at least by tomorrow. Okay. And you're going to see him, like, whip out, like, the tiniest little pad of notepaper and just... If you can help me... So here's the big question for you, before you head anywhere. If you can help me take it by surprise, I can get you some Mind Flayer brains. <laughs> You, with your natural passive perception, no, he doesn't actually write anything, he just draws. I'm gonna take a look over to see what he draws. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just nosy, can I see what he draws? Scared as a no. Oh. Scared as a no. I just want to know what nope, you're all Nope, nope. <laughs> I also would like to know what I grabbed the I love the drawing. I love the drawing. I will draw. I will roll if you let me to see if Scare can see it. Because I am standing right there beside him. Roll it. Just for the funniness. I'm not probably going to say anything. Yeah, I don't see shit. <coughs> I wasn't actually looking. That is a... 11. I would like to try to roll just because I want to roll for something. You never said you walked over here. Oh. <laughs> well, he could have been walking over here, though. I mean, if you want to say you walked over. That is doable. That but you never said really. you were over here with us. I would like to do the thing. Okay. All right. Do the thing. Yula, what are you currently doing? Um, I was behind him, but before he left, I wanted to ask him something. Okay. So would you happen to... Be the third one that controls the final inn that we have yet to visit. Mm-hmm. Looks around. It's not with me. I don't keep it like a purse. Are you the inn? No. It's not the I got that bat! Well, you smack her. Smack her. her. You could call it oh, an inn very good. as a throw-off. But you were the person that people find for help out here. You're like the wandering... Healer. I like liquor as much as I like fighting. We should be great friends. Who do you think told Ada to put the fighting ring in her tower? Oh, have you said that was a very so. So wait, Ada, what are you over? Are you just over fighting then? Yes. Why well, does this secret organization? Like... Wait, why does the secret organization that works specifically in information need a? F- person over fighting. How many people do you have fighting? When information ain't good enough. How many people do you have fighting that you would need someone to be the head of that? Not enough. Ten? Add two more zeros. Ish. I 
think I've severely underestimated the size of the organization, organization that I'm a part of. <laughs> you didn't think it was big? I thought it was big, but I didn't think it had a fighting force of at least a thousand people. Lily said it wouldn't be easy to hide more than It wouldn't. If you want to... A thousand? If you want to talk, I may have something that can help with that. Hiding more than a thousand. I'll only take your suggestions if you can outrun me in laps. No. How many laps I mean, can you run? I'm, 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 willing, I'm willing to try. Run around the coast. Mm. Like all of the Feywild? Don't know if I'll be able to beat 26 that. 26 days. My record. Not sure if I'll be able to beat that, but sounds interesting. Maybe when there's less <laughs> war. <laughs> How much would that scare been able to do? Not the whole... I, I wouldn't say the whole thing. Does that include the Wastelands and the Feywild? Or, or is it just one of them? 37 days with the Wasteland. Ah, okay. 26. Just the known Feywilds. Might have to look, take you up on that offer. It'd be interesting to at least see what happens. That includes the, mount, the Ogma Mountains to the west. Should be fun. I think her lungs will explode. I do too. <clears throat> I, I think it'll be a hard time for her to dying. I think it'll be a hard time for her to go through the freezing mountains. Too much weight. <laughs> <laughs> Looks down at him. <laughs> He's talking about your tits. I, I'm aware, darling. <laughs> I'm not kidding. How how much how much how long would that be for Scara? Out of all of us, he probably he out of all of us, he has ran ran. <laughs> but not uh, but yeah, no, no, no. Um, it would not be the exact, but I would say it's not too far off from this. I'm gonna currently give you 35 days. Okay. Just because I don't want to do the math. Okay. And I'm lazy. Uh, you yeah, pull something out of her bag and starts quickly scribbling stuff. Uh, but yeah, no, so was that all the help you needed? Just figuring out how to dig into... You got earwax built up or something? Why are they needing your mind so bad? We're wanting to look at some memories that may have been... blocked. I want to see if he has divine essence inside of him. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how my memory is. I just want that. him to not die while I do it. Judging by my nephew over there, I'm fairly certain the only thing divine about him might be his dick. But I'm pretty sure, sure Ramesh can get me the scroll within probably about three days. Ramesh, you say? Ramesh. So let's take it to <laughs> R O M E J E. It's a fucking weird word. R O M E. E. J. E. J. E. Mm-hmm. Will you know where our location is, or will we have to call on you so you know? Call me. Okay, so call on you in three days. I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra time. I just got another assignment, and it will probably take me a while to find a mind flare. The particular ink for this scroll requires uh, their brain juice. Oh, if you find mm -hmm. one that has like white wizard robes, can you bring me the robe back? We have unfinished business with that one. White um. dress for metal. His name is Aramis. It's a very magical white dress. Mm -hmm. Adds to the picture. Dress too. Alright, I hand him a piece of paper at this point. <laughs> you keep giving these people secret pieces of paper. I mean, if y'all want to look at it, y'all can look at it. Bradley. Come here. Hey, question for uh, Elliot about Kai. Does he have Spare the Dying as a cantrip? Mm -hmm. I get a cantrip, but that's one of my options. I'm thinking about maybe taking it. I have Spare the Dying, and I can use it as a bonus action. 
Oh, so sir. maybe get something else. I don't there. think I have to touch you because it was one of my clear things. Oh. <clears throat> you need to go to another room. What did you do to him? <laughs> oh, easy. <laughs> we are off to that shit already. Dory. Now, that was my knock number 10. Let's try this again. Nice. She's ready for that one. Excuse me, I need to hunt down some bigger knock clippers. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I believe. Anywho, uh, what was your paper? Um, it is a copy of the bag of construct upkeeping and repair. Okay. The plan. And I was like, this is what I was saying that might be able to help store more than a thousand. It's a plan I'm working on right now. Well, this has a lot of words and numbers that I don't want to read, but I'm fairly certain if I brought it to Twilly, she'd read it for me. <laughs> Probably. Um, but I think you would at least want to look at it because it involves hiding more, getting more than a thousand people for you Does to go back on. Does it have pictures? Yes, there's literally pictures on it. <laughs> yeah. I might look at it in about like two weeks. I'm pictures. currently busy <laughs> with a new order and finding a dress. Sounds Is it a wedding dress? You said it was white. No, it's like a wizard dress. It's got a lot of magic shit in it. Not wedding. Might glow. No, it's, from what I can tell, it's just like a tunic, but it's been, like, blessed by somebody with a really big brain. So it does lots of magic sheet. Neat. Alright, so I have to contact Romej for the thing. After I find the brain. I probably want at least three. And then you want the dress. If it's... I can find a dress. What if it's not white? What if it's, like, brown? Yeah, don't worry about it then. Oh, oh you're particular. You like clean white. Gotcha. No, it's it's just because I know that that one is magical as fuck. He wants it because it's a magic item, darling. Magic dress. Yes. Any magic dress will probably do good for him. Hey, while you're at it, give me a cheeseburger. I want a happy meal. <laughs> More training. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Uh, what, since I'm getting everyone something, do you two need something other than condoms? You you kind of already are doing something for me. Anything else? Ice cream. Times two. <laughs> it's a times three. That can be what you do for me. Uh, he needs a little bit more training. No, oh, trust me. I get plenty of training with you. No. Four. <laughs> Thirty-four. <laughs> I didn't want to erase the three. <laughs> <laughs> At least you tweeted in that Anywho, I think I'm about uh, quite strapped for time for the next three days, so I think I'm going to just head out. Whatever you guys are doing with your weird uh, meet and greet in the woods, I got shit to do in other places. And you just watch as he walks behind a tree, and he doesn't even open the tree like a fey portal like you're used to. He just walks behind a tree, and should you choose to proceed to that tree, he is not there. <laughs> please, please canonically have God turn his hair and go, yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> I needed you to canonically just turn and go. Goes behind. <laughs> We're all just looking, and I look back to Kai, and he goes, Alrighty, so what are you guys currently doing? Now that that has About occurred. to talk about the riddle and how to get into this place. Oh, also, uh, earlier when I tried to roll and see if I saw the drawing, I rolled a net one. I had, had no fucking... You didn't know... even have a book. Yeah, you didn't even know you had a book. I know what the fuck is Holy there. shit, this man can draw? <laughs> Ugh. Ah, that number. Ooh. Yeah. 34? Yeah. Gross. I bad. It was mostly because I didn't want to erase Racy, the three. I, I didn't even erase it when I turned it from a two to a three. I just added more to the two. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't make it to a 34. 234 times. <clears throat> 
41. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, you, you only got about a few more minutes of doing that before I, like, grabbed you from your phone. I've just finished. I'm good. I'm just writing cool, down cool, the final cool. stuff. Um, so, what are y'all doing? Do you want us to start talking, or do you want us to are explain we, that we're are, about are we to start talking? The, are we down at the lake yet? You are still on the hill. You guys never expressed your desire to move. <laughs> yes, so. I would like to remain here until the sun explodes. <laughs> I Stay want good. us to start walking down to the so hill to and the lake. talking about the riddle. Well, so, to the lake. Do you remember where you are on the map? Yes. Are yes. you sure? More yes. or less. Scarab remembers. I begin skipping towards He's the dead. lake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In a lysodilicum frolicking manner. So, but you have to do this. You have disadvantage on uh, stealth checks. Yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> did you walk up to Did you walk up to Aaron and grab his hand and skip nope. with him, or did you do it to you? To to Sarah. Sarah. You made oh, scare. Oh, you know that's a great point. I just had to hold my hand down the hill. Oh, okay. Eula in situation gonna stealth check. <laughs> we gonna we gonna do stealthy. Nope. We're gonna stealthy. Eula in situation or stealthing. <laughs> Roll a stealth check. Okay, go. You currently have someone near you. Relatively speaking, who is making this hard? Also, the boots help your feetsies when you're stealthing. You are jumping your big ass metal self. I am prancing about like a little daisy. <laughs> Please say you're saying that. Oh yeah, no, hey character. I'm prancing about like a little daisy. No, you're being loud and clanky, but I love it. Keep it going. Keep it, keep I can on. cease the clank. No, 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 Aramis, it's okay. Well, I Let everything know we're here. Let them be afraid. Well, when you Thanking <laughs> metal coming. Don't when worry. Let them fear Situation is somehow louder than you. <laughs> we... Situation stealth check is a six. <laughs> Eula's... <gasps> Eula's is 20 plus that. <laughs> it's good situation... Situation stepping... It's situation. fucking cold! It's fucking cold! It's fucking cold! So, I got cold. it, I got it. Taking off in a frolicking manner, like wee dizzy. Situation is like. Nigh on situation. Situation says, "Oh my gosh, this is how we stealth." <laughs> well, Situation's well, never stealthed before. An athletics check for me to see if you stay on situation <laughs> in his cramping <laughs> state. <laughs> I will not permit guidance due to the. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen. It's still but pretty good. And you said acrobatics or athletics? Athletics. athletics. Twenty-six. Same as my stealth. <laughs> nice. So is it, I'm very stealthily you're not riding this like a for pony. <laughs> you're not paying for this ride, but you are making the most of it. You look like got them hip moves down to stay on. <laughs> she squeezed them thighs and held on. <laughs> not just for show. <laughs> Damn, I feel bad for Baron Estra. <laughs> we haven't even done anything. <laughs> All right. She is missing out on those hips, man. God, if Baron Estra ever went between that those legs, she'd die. Her head would pop like a watermelon. Only, only if she, does, she's only she, God, only she's if she does her job well. <laughs> Sorry, there's supposed to be a kid's channel, though. It's not no, every video is not marked not for kids. It's too bad Baron Estra doesn't have sure a dick. Cool she's got that dragon grip thigh. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> oh, thank God. Very nice trying to sit between that. She'd be broken a minute flat. That's all I'm saying. Are we sure? Isn't Before she I think, a god? Should I have a tinker's kid or a... What? Isn't she a god? Like, I get it. Minor god. But, like, I think she's a little... She's small. She, she, can, she can make herself have a penis if she wanted it. She can also be a little bit terrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This way. I've had a lot of kids. I want to we're still not the closest um, to the cat. To the trash can. Give it to us every time, though. I'm sorry. You are closer to trash can than we are. I have more obstacle. What? Would a tinkerer's get me <laughs> what I would need yes. to get? Now then, you guys are frolicking like we little dumbass daisies. Except for Eula, who's very hidden in situations back. I never said we were um, frolicking. I just in exact order, order would actually probably be these two dumbasses. Then us in the back. Um, yes, Aramis is. is also frolicking in front of. And then the Aramis would be here. What are you two doing? Uh, there's we're no, literally I said that walking. Kind of was walking down there. There's nothing going on inside my head except for the Yoshi's yeah. Island song. I was swinging his arm. We weren't really frolicking. There are trees around. Should you desire, they have vines. Except for, I'm falling like a little daisy. Am I supposed to Tarzan this shit? Let's go. Your shits. 
Let's go. I know climbing trees is your shit. I don't know if swinging one vines from said climbing trees is your We may frolic like daisies, but we will fuck your shit up. That is not where I thought that sentence was going. Well, we will fuck you. <laughs> we will fuck. <laughs> okay. Damn. Look at Terramus go. <laughs> this, it was not canon, but for some reason I just thought we could. I feel like now the canonical like thought in my head is you smashing sounds like a bunch of clanging pots and pans <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> I wanted to point out that when he went, we will fuck. I just thought like Funny because it wasn't can canon, but it'd be funny if Aramis stopped skipping turn and looked kind of like, we will fuck, and it kept going. <laughs> Look, man, all I got to work that with is my hands. Look, man, all I got to work with is my hands. You ever been fisted up to the elbow before? <laughs> Speaking of you said fisted earlier, I did not put my uh, swords out in Skyrim, and I went, yeah, I'm going to fist him to death. And he goes, no. <laughs> Back to the back to our D and D back session. Back to Dungeons and Dragons. Aramis. <laughs> if anyone tries to screw with us, we'll bury Not our Dungeons fists. Not Dungeons and Dildos. <laughs> if anyone tries to screw with us, we'll bury our fists so far up their ass that we'll be tickling their buttholes with our shoulders. Wow. Damn. Okay. Yule's hiding on Situation's back while we go down to the lake. Are you actually hiding if Situation yes. is seen? I mean, you, you can see Situation, but I can be very well pressed to get Situation. <laughs> like, underneath the armor You can see Situation, but not Eula. Ah, nice. Ah! Garrison! Take 17 points of bullshit damage. You worked so hard on putting Garrison in that dragon's mouth and Megan ruined it with one roll. I'm gonna pay attention. I'm making a perception check. Fantastic! I'm also make, would be paying attention, because I'm not skipping or yeah, having to hold on for dear hey, life on a dragon. Are you guys running down to no. the river, or are you running down to the half-frozen lake? Neither, we're not running. There, we're going to the lake. We are going to the lake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But he was. You're gonna need these because I'm about to make your god. <laughs> That's my alley. I got a dirty twenty. Twenty-three. Ah. Alrighty. Uh, Eighteen. At this given point, the only thing you can notice is the fact that your ears and noses and like cheeks hurt because this wind is angry, uh, fucking I, cold. Is that for everybody or that one who's jumping? Um, I'm not honestly, sure. it's kind of for everybody. Like everyone just kind of notices <clears throat> that you can't really tell what the fuck is going on because the wind up here is just okay, and it is pretty much biting to the bone at this point. Um, who rolled highest? Me. Uh, you can see from <clears throat> this direction uh -huh. what appears to be a. Uh, the lizard forming, and you kind of piece together that that's probably why this wind feels like a bitch. Uh, nice. Uh, what uh, also, he's trying to. Uh... He's fine. Mm. Mm, can we please not and let him and close the door on him? Oh. It almost got closed on him, dumbass. Love you, but shit. He's not naked, guys. He has a little soul patch. All right, on him chins. <laughs> anyway. We, we, we go out to the lake. Yes. To the lake. To the lake. So, to the lake. To the lake. To the lake. No commentary uh, thus far between anyone? I mean, I'd be laughing and making sly comments about those two to Kai. Um, does it I would like to cease my skipping. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, to situ I was about to say to a situation there, I must be like, so, we're in very dangerous territory. We're about to enter into a very dangerous area. Maybe we should approach with some caution. Maybe we should only have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Need to be rain it back in. Would the whispering loud enough for Aramis also have to make Eula make another stealth? I'm going to say for this current situation, no, and it's mostly due to like the also used to cast. Okay, because the wind, the because of the blizzard wind. I am raining it in. I have gotten my five minutes of Aramis fueled whimsy. <laughs> I'm also going to, I could have cast a message if I needed to, to make that happen. Okay, so, <clears throat> from what you guys can visually discern, please don't do that again. <clears throat> there will be no neck breaking at my table. Are you sure? Typically you're the one that does it. Or threatens to do it to us. Anywho. So, you guys are generally speaking in this red area. Yes? Mm -hmm. This light blue area, straight up ice. This little edge where it's all like... 
Mm -hmm. Jagged? Yes. Nope. There are like floating <laughs> chunks of this ice. Uh, I will require a perception roll if you wish to see how thick the ice is. But sure. from your passive perception, I don't see if, anything. 18. The little island chunks that are 13. floating, you're not, you're, you're just like, oh damn, that's a big ass ice. You said, oh, that floating ice. ice. Is as thick as me. You said floating ice. Good job, good job. You, however, do notice that um, this ice is thick enough to walk on safely. Oh, this so can bear a lot of weight. This too. However, you're not quite sure why only half of this lake is frozen. Um, that's kind of odd. <clears throat> is there any... Uh, this is going to be a very, very long shot. Is there any plants in the area? There's like frostbitten trees to the side that has more of the glacier ice. Do they look alive? Roll a nature check. <clears throat> I will also reiterate the river that is towards the top is a running river, but it has huge chunks of ice uh, like flying through it. So the huge chunks of ice are coming to here and pretty much floating mm. around here. And at mm. some point, they stick to the main mass of ice and just mm, solidify it. Aramis, how long does it take you to detect magic? Uh... Proceed for the nerd to read his tattoos. Please stop lying. It's kind of it, it is Bradley, Bradley. grating <laughs> on the nerd. Please. At some point. If I want to do it for free, ten minutes. If you don't want to do it for free? Instantly. <clears throat> I think we can use... Could you see if there's a magical reason why this ice is not... Why the rest of this lake is not frozen? Can I have ten minutes? Yes. I know someone who might be able to do it instantly. Yeah, you just can't let me have nice things, can you? Literally. Well, in case it's a time frame. If you're not able to do it within ten minutes, we'll do my backup plan. I can... Literally. If, if something stops you from doing it in ten minutes, darling. Okay. <laughs> also, for a second there, I thought Tooster was your foot, and I was so confused because he was being rubby. Playing <laughs> footsies with Bradley? I am literally just excited to my toes are not cold. Oh, they are very cute. Yes. Two, four. You rolled nature check. Um, honestly, they're kind of just in hibernation. I wouldn't necessarily consider a majority of these trees alive so much as they're just not dead. The one that looks the most not dead. <laughs> Would be more than likely towards the edge of the river on the not frozen side. Awesome. I walk up to it. Okay. <clears throat> I cast Speak with Plants. Okay. Using my bag. Okay. Which... <laughs> bags on bags on bags. You need a bag for your bags. <laughs> you need those. Uh, -huh. uh, what do you two do during this? Uh, while Eula walks up to a tree and taps it, and Aramis is harnessing the power of reading to cast his spells. <clears throat> Are we close to like a rock wall? Wall? Or like like the like kind of like where the mountain is? How close to the like mountain are we? Proceed to the photo. Y'all are in the general is over there. red circle area, which you're not far. Eula is currently here. How? Okay, so is the mountain across the water? Yeah. Yeah, there are bits of the rock that kind of like jagged around here because the lake is higher than this river. Okay. But the majority of the height. So is there a way to get others. over there during the 10 minutes or no? I mean, yeah, you would be able to because there are rocks that, you know, cause yeah, it to falling. fall. It's a little bit of a waterfall, it's a little bit of a rough fall. Um, I would require you to make an acrobatics check to see if you can get over there safely, and it is kind of a high BC, but it is most likely possible. Okay. Thanks. It's possible. 
I don't think it's easy, and you would risk getting drenched. In freezing water. Mm. Sounds not good. With freezing weather and yeah, freezing I, wind. I, I, I no. Okay. Deal with your stuff. <coughs> I have already talked to Megan about this all day long. Oh, look at you go. Sweet boy. What are you trying to do? Alright, so I'm going to go around in the order of what everyone wanted to do. Is there anything you would like to do at this given point? I'm watching where this fuck stick is going and saying, what are you trying to do? I am wanting to check to see if there is any opening on that side. The other side of the mountain? Or the, like, oh, across the river? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Or any evidence of an opening on that side? I don't want to just swim. I don't want to swim. There are trees that are on both sides that you've noticed. Um, however, to discern if it would be probable to use that as a means of transportation, I would make you roll. Are we trying to cross one? I'll look for that. I like trees. I am. But will it fuck with your concentration if you try to do anything on your detect magic? If you let me finish detecting magic, I can tell you and then I can help you. I will wait until Aramis is done to tell me about the lake. I am doing a combination of physics textbook reading and ooga 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 chalking my way through this ritual. <laughs> ooga ooga ooga. So me and Ty are just waiting for Aramis and Aramis is answered to my question. Okay, cool. Well, I did want to roll for the tree thing. Roll for your tree thing, hun. What's in my rolling? Um, just roll survival check. How's that sound? Yeah. Fifteen. Go? No. Oh god. Twenty-seven. Oh, he's so smart. I think he gets your survival's one of my things, and I rolled with guidance. He got a fifteen plus three plus. So the particular eight. tree that Eula is investigating currently is definitely live enough to hold weight, and it just barely meets another tree on the opposite side of the river. So you don't think you could just walk across branches to get to it, but you do think it is probable to jump it. The other tree doesn't look as lively as the one you was investigating at the moment, but it looks sturdy enough. So long as you don't go too high and you stay close to the trunk. Hmm. So these are two different options to go across? No, so... Or just the two, sorry. What you discern is that Eula is currently investigating a tree in this area. Mm -hmm. I'm jumping from that tree to one across would be possible. Possible. Okay. And that's it's what well I was within your to. jumping range. The one Eula is investigating is the one that looks the most alive in the current area. That's not sound good. The other tree on the opposite side of the river does not look as alive, but it should be able to bear at least one person's weight at the time. <clears throat> safely. It could probably bear two people, but from your personal experience, it's too much of a, it could, not a, it will, cool. to really trust it. It would be safe best, in your personal opinion, to only do one at a time. <clears throat> oh, damn it, cares. I mean, if we went one at a time... And drum tree the good, we could potentially get from that tree to that tree. Within ten minutes of waiting on Hermes, I would tell you that. Do you want to try? <coughs> I don't want to swim if I fail. Do you have rope? Don't you always have rope? Well, I mean, I have rope. Do you have rope? Yeah, everyone's pack has rope. We all have 50 foot of rope. Unless you got rid of your starting sheet. I have some starting stuff that lets me cross areas. I have it's a few called, options. It's called wings. Fuck it, throw the rocket, Eula. I have a few options. Eula said me. nothing. Eula no. said nothing. <laughs> That's what's the difference. What, what are your... Your ten minutes are not out, but what could be your options? Ten minutes out. Shape water. Oh, are they out now? Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so Shape my water. Thing was uh, us water. talking about the trees. He got us ten minutes up. <laughs> okay. Shape water always reliable. I can build a bridge using wall of stone. I can throw you guys across using telekinesis. <laughs> that would sounds fun. <laughs> How about could you build me a bridge and throw him into? I can just. 
I can just make you guys a little ice bridge five blocks at a time, like five feet at a time. Roll a survival check for me. <clears throat> I would have also finished my thing within ten minutes. Mine is ten minutes. Mm. You had enough caffeine. My, my casting's instant, but it only lasts for ten minutes. So. Thirteen. Where did the cookies go? You want them? Kind of, hmm. I don't want to get that to make Water a lot fast. of noise. My magic's stronger than the current. Mmm. Oh, shit. They could throw me. Can I roll a check to see if his magic will survive the current? I'm going to say no for this current situation because I do not think you have um, enough knowledge about the type of magic he uses to make a sound judgment. <laughs> Okay. And he talks about it a lot, but I don't think he's done it a lot. How about one time? He's done it once. In the material plane. And he uses it. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. It could probably work, so long as you're not doing it right where the river meets the lake. Yeah, because water flow. Yeah. Actually, you can instantaneously move or otherwise change the flow of water as you direct. Up to five feet in any direction. It would probably be worth risking it once again. For the biscuit? Mm. Water fast, but my magic is strong. Big coffee. But also a big cold. Do you have to go with us? The five feet across each time? Uh, it has a maximum range of 30 feet. How mm-hmm. wide is your thing we're getting across? That was 60, isn't it? Hmm? You have yeah, to go across with us. 70 feet. Okay. If we don't take the tree. Wait, what was the tree option? The tree option is just we go across the tree. You can't really walk across it, but that one looks pretty sturdy for like one person. You could jump to the other one, and that looks like maybe not great, but it would hold one person. Is there a tree that appears to be 70 feet tall? You know... Yes, these are very tall tree forks. Yeah, these are the ones that I'm talking about. Like, these two tall Should trees. Should I make an arcana check to see if I can rip one out of the ground using my telekinesis? <laughs> Just make us a bat? Let me talk to you Eula first. We'll get back to that. Pull up your telekinesis shit. Um, Eula, what did you do? Fucking I'm talking to the tree! You're trying. What? No, I, I've already cast a spell. It takes him minutes. By the time he finishes Detect Magic, I would have finished my conversation. What were you doing? All right, so. What were you doing? I thought Megan said the tree wasn't alive. It wasn't dead. It was. No, mm. It was the one that looked the most not dead. <laughs> this one's a creature because he's talking to it. Pause. Okay. Let's have Eula do this. All right, what? I talk to the tree. I speak for the tree. <laughs> Lorex. <laughs> Uh, pardon me, darling. Am I interrupting your sleep? I'm sorry. It gets to talk back to me. As if it can. Or if it wants to. If it wants to. Everyone always forgets the if it wants to. If it wants yes. to. It, you just kind of hear them. Mm. Well... If you're okay with answering, I just had a few questions and I'll let you get back to your sleep undisturbed. This is disturbing it. <laughs> then tell me it. <laughs> Do I get any response or is it just quiet? To rouse one from slumber for conversation is to disturb. Is it not? Yes, but what I'm saying is you might be here a while, and I don't know how everyone else would react and use you and your brethren as if you were just objects. It's going to be a bridge. That's guys. That's old guys said out loud. Would Eula have thought we were using the tree during our ten minutes? No, Kai's over there at the tree with me. Like I was just talking about point. jumping over the tree. Yeah, he was inspecting the tree while I was actually there casting the spell already. Like, yep. we went there at the same time. It's just, we are backtracking so much. Yeah, You're talking to a tree. That, that's like, just why I was trying to make sure you didn't go use... Can back to focusing on Eula's thing so that we can proceed with what you guys wanted to do? I was trying mm-hmm. to make sure Eula didn't say something because she heard I, us I, talking. I know. 
but we just cleared that up that she didn't because Kai course of actions had taken place at the same time. We just haven't done it at the same time because I have two pairs of ears and only one of them works. So, yes, that's what I would say. What did you say? Yes, but me and my companions may be here a while and... I said what did you need? You said what did you say? No, before that whole thing oh. when you interrupted, I said... What did you need? Oh, okay. We are looking for an entrance of some kind, and I was just wondering if you would know anything about it in this area. I know not. There's well, a tree. all trees slumber here. Hmm. So close to the winter eternal. I, can I intercede while he's looking for something? Hmm. What do I see with magic projection? What's the range? Um, Six feet. Hmm. You sense the presence of magic within thirty feet. Yeah, thirty. That's right. Other than the items you know exist on your companions' bodies, you see nothing. Well, I don't see anything magical yet. Thank you, Well, Kai. then I guess I just have one last question for you. Is there anything we should watch out for while we're here besides the cold? Yes. Hmm. Would I be so bold as to ask where and what, if you know? I'm going to try something at this point. When he starts slumbering off, mm -hmm. I'm going to take out a... Please, no drugs. Oh, that's in my pockets. I'm going to take he out... Drugs in oh, yeah, that's right. I'm Never going to mind. take out a candle. What the fuck did you have a candle up your ass? I've had five candles in my entertainer's pack that I have. <laughs> I'm using my starting equipment, guys. Why? I know. I know how you guys cross this bridge. I'm going to make a barrier from the wind with my wings and body around the candle and the tree. Your wings are not protected by your fluffy coat. I put my wings back in. <laughs> Never mind. I make a barrier with my body in between the wind and the tree with the candle in between. And I'm going to light the candle mm -hmm. and try to like provide no. some light. Press it to tape. It's back up. It's back lit. As okay. soon as it goes out, I'm just keep pressing to that shit to where it's a constant flame of like you battle. Do you want some shit. light? Yeah, do you need a hand? I'm trying to create some kind of light and warmth that they may not have ever existed here to see if it will invitalize the tree and like give it well, I can give something. I can give it warmth. I've got sacred flame. We don't want to burn it! <laughs> Scara and Aramis both walk up with burning hands like. I know the blast radius. More of like. S the s equivalent of some sunlight and nutrients that they have not had. <laughs> you need sunlight? You need light. You need light. something that produces light. Yes. I guess. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. This this I know. Still... Yeah. Sorry. What? I'm just going to go use the bathroom. Okay. Fantastic. What? Were you saying I don't think she was doing anything. Or you were saying no, I was before. talking to Eula. Right. Okay, cool. So, yes. Three voices in my ears and one. Very polished. Shut up, Frederick. <laughs> oh, full name, found a note. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. To see if that has any effect on the tree and like making it like me more and making it feel better. I don't think it works. We're just watching well, this go out and you're like, rolled fucking... something and I don't know if that oh, means. Perception it. check for me. Perception. Depending on your roll, will determine whether or not I ask for a nature check. Happens. Natural twenty. Uh, yes. Roll a nature check for me. Um, one second. I want to know. This is almost a max perception roll for me, so I want to know what it gets to. Twenty-eight. 
29. Cool. Roll nature. So your max perception is a 30. Yep. Unless I want to get, unless I want to also use Bardic Inspirations and two other guidances. I don't know if you ever pick up guidance. A nature. This is a really good nature check. 31. My mark allows me to add an extra d4 to any uh, nature rolls. Anyways. 31. Roll 19. Grow extremely concerned when you hear no response from the tree, but it almost appears as if the bark is scorching from this tiny wicker of a flame, honestly. And I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, hold it, too. I'm trying to, like, hold it away from it. And it's still doing that? Yes. Wow. You can kind of piece together, though. This tree is not really meant to be more alive than it is. Does it at least make it feel good? It's scorching. (laughs) It might make it feel good. I don't know. I'm trying to be nice. I don't want to hurt the tree. (laughs) You're, you're burning it. It's not used to, to light. Alright, I stop it. As soon as I notice that it starts to burn or do anything to it, I stop. And I put candle up. Okay. Good I just described it burning a tree. Did it might be like it's burning the frost off. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to think outside the box here. Think inside the box for this one. Maybe you get more answers. All right. Build the box. So. Um, so that expended it. Got it. Yes. Not super useful. So, but you get this. Yes. Roll a wisdom check for me. A wisdom? Just raw dog and wisdom. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't fail me now. That didn't fail me. 17? <laughs> Bradley? What? The fuck? Better than like his like magic princess music. We can hear your phone. <laughs> and we got real quiet and it was funny. <laughs> We've always been able to hear your phone every time. I didn't know, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we knows. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, um, you said a 17. 17. So, may not get anything with that. The only thing that really stands out to you is the odd nature. You've, you've traveled. Even for the life that you currently remember. Mm-hmm. And it's odd that the location you are currently at essentially has what feels like no witnesses. The no fuck do you mean the no witnesses? Nobody is able to tell you anything about what happens in the area you are currently located. Almost like Sounds it's a little more threatening when it's no witnesses. Almost though. like it's supposed to be a complete secret and hard to do. Yeah, but you're using your resources, so that might be something better. Not many people think to hide things from plants. That's why so you picked the thing that go to plants. The whole point of the list to point out yes. the oddity of even the plants. Yes. No not. No not. Alright. What lies I want beneath. Thought. Hide it from the plants. Yes. Almost like a god. So. I tried so hard. No, you did. It's great. And it's just, like, it sounded very ominous and threatening with the no witness. She's like, I know, it's you great. You should be scared. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You, you achieved it. That's what I was saying. It's like, oh, that sounds so ominous. Yeah, this is a lot funnier knowing Be proud funny. of yourself. You did it. <laughs> be proud of yourself. You did it. <laughs> I love you. Please. Don't. You can get bullshit damage too, Elliot. <laughs> we all can. Fear the DM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at this point I would talk to everyone else. Alright, everyone talk dirty to me. What you talking about? Tell me a story. 
So, Mike. first of all, I think we should all Mike. be Mike. very... I feel like we should all be very careful here. Because no way. Really? there is apparently something here Serious. that is very deadly. No way, really. We are in a freezing cold blizzard going into a catacomb. Darling, more like in this immediate area, <laughs> not in the catacombs. Now. <laughs> ah, so, for joined us. if I remember correctly, it talked about we have to be nice, or ask nicely, <laughs> to enter. Does okay. anyone have any ideas about this? I'm thinking maybe the ice or the water could be the mirror, and the mountains could be the two stairways. That's what but if thinking. anyone else has any ideas, I would be happy to hear them. I don't have any ideas about the riddle, but I do have ideas about transportation. <clears throat> and what would that be, darling? Okay, so we have three options. I already know which one I think we should pick, but I'm going to tell you them all anyways. Option number one. It is very distracting with you doing that. Please stop. <laughs> Option number one. I use shape water to freeze little five-foot blocks of ice that I'll get across the river. Pros, it's free, and I get to show off. Cons, uh... Water Don't fall? <laughs> well, it's only a five-foot cube, uh, so... Okay. It's only a five-foot cube, so water fast, I think. Option number two. You said something about getting a tree to go across. Let's not do that. I did just promise the trees that we would not treat them as objects. Oh, darn. I was kind of hoping to yank a tree out of the ground and toss it. Why are we making a promise for us? Okay. Option number three... And I think this is one that one is the coolest. Sorry, we had all that one. I have been practicing a. I have been practice. I have been looking into a new spell that I think could be very helpful for us. That could help us cross this river with a little bit of effort on anyone else's part but mine. I mean, and which one are you wanting to do? I wanted to be. I want. I want to do option number three, but I wanted to be surprised because I want you guys to be impressed. I'm intrigued by option number three. I was just saying. You don't have to tell us which one are you wanting. This is Scarecrow going. Which option do you want to do? Option three is objectively the safest. Well, then let's go with three. I like three. that one. All right. <laughs> I get to sit the scene. And we're sitting. Okay. Let me pull up. Do they taste different? Or are you just being picky which one you want? They all taste they different. Taste different. Do you, know, you don't like this, so. Yes, yes, they do. How do they taste different? I thought they were just all butter cookies. These ones have sugar stuff on them. These ones, oh, those ones are actually even different too. These ones are kind of just crunchy. <coughs> these fall apart. Yeah, these ones are soft. The and the pretzels are just fun. Because <laughs> they're fun shape. The pretzels in these basically taste the same, but the pretzels just fun. So yes, yes. Megan right. is making the very beautifully placed in there. And all of those taste throw. different than the ones that were previously in there. Now she's you know just what, purposely throwing them. We could them. just dump them all out. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sheen. Sheen me. Kila? I'm going to take a couple steps forward. Roll up my sleeves. You don't have sleeves? Looks very, you Eula looks very confused. Oh, yes, yeah, you does. He has his sleeves on. Yeah. Roll up my sleeves, and then my arms disassemble and just sort of float in the air. And every every etching on me, all the space in between my different bits, it all gets filled with an orange arcane energy. Okay. Mm, orange. I'm for a friend. I'm for a Very insightful. And as you're puzzling why I'm doing this, ten foot. 10 foot by 10 foot by 6 six inch rectangle slabs of stone begin to lift from the ground around us and float across the river. What spell is over? Joining together, joining together and building a bridge across the river, building supports that are a foot thick all the way across. And I have just used stone wall 
to make a 120 foot long stone bridge. You said extra. Yeah. I like it. If you give me 10 minutes, it's permanent. I don't like it. Pop off. We'll give you another 10 minutes. Eula's jaw drops. <laughs> and while we're giving you it a off. respective in time 10 minutes, I'm going to go on a bathroom break. <laughs> we're really going to give you 10 minutes. <laughs> Do your thing. Design it. Joy. Tell me how fancy it is for 10 minutes. Honestly, pop off. Tell me how detailed crafted this is. I feel like there's some like arcane stuff. There's, there's some geometric stick shapes. Tell me. Huh? Well, at first I just oh, started off with something very simple about. and very practical. Uh, it just starts off as a bunch of stone squares. Mm -hmm. The texture on the walkway is a little bit marble slash. I, I don't know how you want to describe it to make it easier for us to grip. And then, just for the funsies, I make it a little bit more fancy. So it's like a slow progression. Let's go. That is some nice stone work. Thank you. I can appreciate that. That's some good climbing stone. I would hope you could earth do nothing that looks half rock. Just a whole plane. That's some nice rock. Here, I'm going to pull it out. Dungeon's a boulder. That's a rock. It's a bridge. It looks like chocolate in it. Alright, this one looks I will trust this one better than the last one you gave me. It's a Can you hold the white show, please? No. We have a bowl of cookies. They're gonna be broken, but um watch this. Is. Cookies! Which one of these with chocolate on them? Still do the same cookie. Mm. Oh, chocolate. Also, don't forget these. I'm so happy. I have some cookies. Mmm. I bit off of it, but it was just me. Oh, I didn't wow. like it. It's so much easier to get by this time. There's not a dimmer in the way. You little punch of scare. <laughs> Damn, you loser. Bad ass out of my way. I'm trying to get by. So here's a yeah. question. You look cast like, harm. Is Eula like what double stuff thick or is she max most stuff thick? I just She's have chocolate. Thick. Um, that was another one that we have. A different type. <gasps> Those also butter cookies? Eula is thick. Are these mandolins? From muscles? Mandolins. Because her strength is a 20. <laughs> but she also has just a little bit of fat, so it's like you're comfortable. <laughs> I like it. Did you I'll hear how thick Eula one. was? I was telling you how thick Eula was. Thicker circle. I got to stick that in a circle. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> yes, pass me the dick. That's what it's got, it's flat. DM. <laughs> You take You're 12 welcome. points of bullshit player damage. <laughs> also, um... <laughs> For a dick? My infinite health is down to 12. Also, max roll. <laughs> every... Let's see. I'm sorry, I was excited about the dick cookie. Uh, I, I, I'm aware. Does that mean I had one removed? You only gave me one. No, it's just a side view. <laughs> I would also like you to make it... I, I'm kidding. I'm no, I would also view. like to make an addendum. <laughs> a what? On my bridge. No, it's What's an, an addendum? addendum? It's in a change. It's a change. It's a red. Maybe a little thicker. I thought you said a dum dum. Nope. Every fifteen feet. <laughs> there are a bridge. <laughs> Every fifteen feet, there are a pair of platforms which have perfectly shaped, a precisely one half ton stone cubes. You for a second from now? Yep. They're just stacked on top of each other. Why? Stones? Okay. About three high, three long. You'll see. In case you run into trouble. <gasps> I know what you're doing! <laughs> Denver knows what you're doing. Yule does it. Denver, this is your shape. Actually. She's like, draw it. Alright. Hold on. I think I know a better way to do this. Mm. 
cube. <laughs> there will instead be half ton stone spears. Those are very heavy. Very big. Like this table size. Basketball for gods! Anyway, while well, I am not trying to hurt my skull thinking about this. We walk across his bridge. So, after 10 minutes. Just to be sure. Where are you putting it in relation to the water? They are on little platforms that are off to the side of the main walkway that are supported by... Yeah, I don't think you understood what water are you my crossing? thing. He wants you to point to where on the map to pull it up. Brad Bridge. No. So she can where does out. the bridge... Where does the bridge exist? Where will your permanent bridge be located? Permanently. I will make this a deep green specifically so it stands out, but like, where where are we talking? Are we talking like, is it here? Uh, <laughs> here? Oh, God. I mean, it here. never... Is it here? Is it here? I, I have so many cookie options. I mean, technically they wanted to go fancy with it and make it like a pentagon okay. shape. It doesn't specify how big it has to it can be. I think okay. it does. Does it? I'm gonna do it. Wall of stone, I think, specifies. Let me see. Then we'll have to do math. Oh, I know it was. <laughs> the wall is six inches. The wall can have any shape you desire, though it can't <laughs> occupy the same space as a creature or object. Yeah, we're talking. Fine. So, um, where is this wall? Like, once again. Where are we going to go? Yep. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Hey, uh, real quick before I just plop down this bridge, uh, where do you guys want it? Scare just wants to get across the river. He can walk from there. So wherever you felt safest to plop your bridge, he can walk okay. from there. Your is on your feet, as long as all can do. Okay. It's... 10, 10 by 10 foot panels. Okay, so you can take a lot of the across this and this is 70. Can you understand? 70 feet. Okay. So you can make a really elaborate bridge right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> You're getting some damage. <laughs> yes, I would like a wheelie of wet wood bridge right there. I was doing an Elmer. Okay, 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 okay. Shit. Fuck you. Wait, I was trying to do the bit with you, <laughs> not against you. Does Denver also get that shit? I don't actually have to do it. Was trying to do Denver's my Elmer Jane Fudd impression. I'm hunting wabbits. Uh, and yeah, what's up, Doc? Yeah. I'll be right in. What's up, Doc? I thought Looney Tunes was public domain. I don't think it is. Is it Mickey Mouse going into public domain soon? Soon. Sure. Nothing's ever public domain, guys. <laughs> yeah, not at Walt Disney anything you can say about it. Yeah, exactly. Wait here. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Wait here. Wait here. Nice. Oh, Love it. Wait here. Wait here. Nice. Nice. Ten minutes later. Ah, oh, look at this permanently beautiful bridge. <laughs> so fancy, Aramis. I'm gonna walk on the fish. Not hard to hurt my foot. Huh? <laughs> And then I'm gonna walk up and kind of like, like kick it with my foot, but I'm not like kicking it with my foot to hurt myself. But I'm gonna be like hmm, sturdy. <laughs> I almost said permanent. Scara has never seen this magic or seen it be done. He went. Is it actually? <laughs> there it is to scale. He said, "Really? A half a ton brick is big." <laughs> Half a ton of yeah, no, when you yell up. Yeah, I know. One ton, two tons, three tons, four tons. I want to shut up now. <laughs> you <laughs> four dragon kids? I think that joke went all over. I wouldn't know. Ghost, ghost, I slapped my thighs. The first two were my thighs. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would know you left. Don't worry, I'm sludge. <laughs> How would I know what a ton is? A slave. Step to a one ton rock. Ah. Change. Wow. Yeah, that's fine. It's another person. <laughs> <laughs> I have multiple personalities, guys. <laughs> we know. Honestly, it might develop into that. Fred is one of them. <laughs> Alright, so. Hey, do you know how to 
how to get across this water? <laughs> One second. Ah! If we did a deep dive into Eula's mind, would we randomly find a bubble just... Ah! No, 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 it's not in a bubble. He's free wandering. <laughs> just walking through Eula's mind, just... Ah! Just red. <laughs> Once he sees you, he follows. Remember the Leviathan just... We see the Leviathan, Fred. Ah! Riding a Leviathan. <laughs> I just love the antics of Red and Eula's mind. <laughs> Fred riding Leviathan. I think about something. Yeah, it was me, Aramis, Kai. Fred was flying into the sun. <laughs> Here comes the sun. <laughs> <laughs> just goes to you. Fred has implemented let's himself in everything. The, let's get the sun bigger shit out. Yeah, so, yeah. Bridge, bridge thingies. What are we doing with the bridge thingies? Going across it to see if there's yep. anything on the ocean. We exit. Stay. Okay. We exit what bridge do you want right. The opposite side of bridge. Other than look up at mountain and go. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's a big. So what are we doing now? Yeah, so. You particularly are like. This didn't look that high when I had it. There. <laughs> what? This didn't look as high as the last one I climbed. <laughs> oh yeah. I was about to ask you relative to R two's a. Which one was bigger? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, please, okay, please. Uh-huh. Alright, so what are you guys doing? Oh, we were looking for a passage or something. I'm right going yet. to do lo- I'm going to expend two charges <gasps> to cast locate Love animal that. plants or animals. <laughs> okay. I'm going so to specifically look for a fish. Okay. It tells me if there's one within five miles of me. Are you looking for uh-uh. Oh, no. or, or something similar to it. Uh-uh. Good to know. There really is fucking nothing out here, is there? So, there's oh, no similar fish. Is similar. Wait a minute. It's been I can name a specific creature or a specific kind of beast or plant. So I think Eula's going for anything that lives in water. Aquatic animals. Mm. She's like, okay. You maybe. said how long? Five, five miles. miles. I learned the closest one within five miles. Yeah, no, you're still good. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Within five miles? No. Damn! What the fucking shit are we about to be walking through? In five miles, she have nothing. Of aquatic. Anyway, no aquatic. Of aquatic. Yeah, but she looked to see if she had an aquatic within five miles, or she picked something up to see. Oh. Or mean, she just played it more to make it think that be like only one mile, but you know. You're a big <laughs> shit. Alright, let's figure out wow. Let's figure out how to dag on do this shit. We do. So, you any ideas from anybody? Oh, so there's something five miles below us. More than five miles below. God, what the fuck is down there? It's a kraken. <laughs> so you wanted to visit the Astral Sea again, right? <laughs> well, damn, kind of said I can't take There's a leviathan below us. <laughs> It's Fred. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> I had a good idea. I had a good idea. I think I had a good idea of those boulders, and I might not get to exercise them. Do it. Eat them into the water. See what happens. <laughs> no. Drop them no, on whatever is down there, five mi- below five miles. Well, maybe not. Let's not do that. It told us to be nice. I don't think dropping big rocks on things are I nice. Know, I know. I mean, I could. Specifically, it said we were told by Aya. This is Scara saying it. The road to my core is paved with blood. The entrance is below a half... Hang on, I even have a mark. A half-frozen mirror framed by two stairs to the sky. You must be polite to enter the doors to the catacombs. Yeah, I don't think dropping half a ton of... It's also in a stone room beneath a half-frozen lake. I don't, I don't think dropping half a ton of granite on something is going to be considered polite. It's not. I go to the center society. of the bridge. I look into the water towards the lake. Yeah. And I speak words. Oh my <laughs> god, not words. Oh, no. Um. What language? When? Where? Why? How loud? Common. <laughs> Whispered. <laughs> normal volume for right now. Okay. Damn, you look being normal. She's not barging her foot in the damn door and I busting it did. open. I almost did. Don't you test me. <laughs> I got spells that make me sound be, loud as fuck. Be nice. <laughs> okay. And common. Okay. All right. Uh, 
<laughs> Excuse me, but I was looking for an entrance, to, an entrance to a catacombs, and I heard that it might be somewhere beneath your waters. Would you be so kind as to show me the way? Are you just hoping to talk to the water? Yes! yes. He's I'm sorry, to... when did you become Elsa or the Little Mermaid? <laughs> it said be nice, so I'm being nice. It be polite. You list is trying to know what to The do. only thing that you receive in response Fred. Fred, and then you hear the. Good idea, Fred. I cast presentation, make my voice loud, and say the same thing. <laughs> same thing, but louder. Fred, match your volume. <laughs> Fred, do you need some water? <laughs> I'm gonna investigate the the part of the mountain that I can look at. There is a cup at. of water next to Fred. <laughs> While Eula has been doing this, I want to be investigating, like roll and investigate. I'll be help. Okay, you'll be help. Advantage. Roll with advantage. Advantage, baby. Advance. You can also guide. Do so you need guidance? I'm not gonna give it this you time. You cannot next time. know that she is yeah, next her time. number. Later. 25. I don't think she needed it. <laughs> You're just raw dog and investigating it, right? Yeah, I want to like specifically so look like around, one. yeah, on the wall close, like as much as I can to try to see if I can see anything. Looks like anything has been moved. Right, so we're going to go to purple for scar tits. You're going to look here. Because you, you guys crossed uh, the bridge and went over here. Yeah, zo zoom out. Where's the two? Oh yeah, so like right there, right in that corner. Because it's like kind of, it seems to be pretty middle of the two peaks. So yes. So easy looking. Car. Yeah. And I'll be helping him look it down. Um. Do we find anything? Baby, you Luca, see. Find a Old evidence of footprints towards the edge of the lake. That is the only thing that even remotely stands out to you. However, these look barely there. Honestly, you nearly missed them. <gasps> it's because I said, baby, look, I found a rock. And right next to where I pointed at the rock, Scara saw the footprints. We found a clue. <laughs> Scara found one. <laughs> Listen, I found a Kai found a rock. <laughs> I found it the every year. It's a very nice palm. <laughs> he said, pretty rock. And Scare went, footprints. And he went, I saw those. <laughs> Kai's like, yeah, footprints. <laughs> it's like a dark colored rock, by the way. It's like almost black. Oh, it's very pretty. Mm. What? Nothing, continue. Any who's it? Any what's it? Anyways, does it look doing? like the like I can really see the footprints, or like the bl blizzard has co covered them up a little bit? The water itself is actually covered. the water itself is covering it. You're not sure if it means that somebody is not in the water, or if somebody has just investigated the same location as you. That is okay. not discernible from the orientation of the footprints. What would I need to roll to try to see if I can figure out more about the footprints? You could always say, uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, you can certainly try. It definitely will not yield a lot of results you because your previous investigation yielded that Yes. this has kind of been here a while and is barely there right now. Okay. So, like, because of your previous investigation, you... As Scarra would understand, like there's not really much else to discern. From Get from the footprints. Not okay. really there. Baby, what was that you were saying about the ripple? Hang on. Okay, so you said footprints on the edge yes. of the lake. So specifically, you investigated this area. Yep. To be here, and you saw the footprints. I can't see it. Okay, so it's like being covered up by water. Yes. I like how you do that. It's cool. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you. Well, what are you doing? What did you just ask me? You. You had just asked me something. You. I don't remember. You said something Lila. about. I'm oh, reading a riddle. book that I just got from Kyle. Uh, this would be the thing you're saying about okay. the riddle. Okay. Looking at this book. Okay. Anything else? Anything you have contributed to the current investigation, other than talking to the water and hoping the you became Moana? Riddle said, or a lot. Aya very specifically said that the path or the path to her court is lined with bloodshed. We have to be polite to enter. And the entrance is in a stone room, or the fastest route is in a stone room beneath a false or half frozen mirror framed by the two stairs to the sky. I'm going to take a shot in the dark real quick. Okay. I'm going to ex expend two more slots of my bag to cast the locate plant or creature again. Okay. Is there any cold wood within a within five miles? I'm so glad somebody actually used this. Yes, the entire woods you are in is actually the cold wood forest. Oh shit! Listen, um, Elliot has not read through the entire thing, so that's my fault. So let it. I I, I hand it back to Kai and be like. So we're standing in an entire forest of this. And points towards it. <laughs> I mean, I figure the wood would be cold. What does that mean? Um, it can fuck Faye up. <laughs> no, it can't. Mm, but it was an attempt to fuck Faye up. <laughs> what to do when you think? Sorry, my bad. You didn't like my angle. No, you. I was reading it, and then you went. So what you do? <laughs> oh, she wasn't done reading. Really so that's I, I strong as it. metal. <laughs> These woods are strong as metal. Let me read it one more time, just to make sure. Um, if you did actually show dead. this to Kai, I will add some information to. Your Kai had the book, so we yeah. had to give it back. Yeah, I asked for this book from Kai. And then I yes. gave it back to Kai. And then I showed Kai. Did you show Kai the entry? Because Kai just yes, said yes. he had he, he said he I turned said, it and pointed and yeah. went. Yeah. We're standing in a forest of this. And I pointed so, to it. Um, and that's why Kai was like, I haven't fully read it, so I wanted to read it. The, uh, you remember your check about the tree that was across next to where Aramis placed the bridge, essentially. Mm -hmm. That I specified to you... Looks like it should, in theory, be strong enough to hold you, but it was kind of, like, you're fairly certain it was only strong enough to hold, like, one body at a time. Okay. Essentially, think of it as a yeah. sting for metal, because that is what... <laughs> you now know it is a cold wood tree. You now know it is a cold wood tree, and you do know it is more than likely experiencing a rot that is weakening it. Hmm. Um, mm, I cannot fix that. Actually, I might be able to. Can I look at the cold wood trees and see if I could see any fruit and or seeds in them? Roll a nature check with disadvantage. What are you guys doing at this current moment? What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how I can contribute to this. Nervous. Yeah, She's like, don't take your stick. Nervous is trying. Is is your brain like one of the things? Because that's where other. Uh, so you know that little wiggle thing is? Yeah, that was my brain earlier. 15? So that's what you're almost No, cold. <laughs> um, Just curious. What were you trying to do with finding out what kind of trees they were? Well, I wanted to see if there was anything in the book that could help in this situation, and the name just struck me as odd, so we're in the cold. There are trees. Just curious. Hmm. It's interesting to know that these trees are apparently as strong as metal. 
I would like to draw and cast Detect Magic as a ritual again. Okay. Doesn't it last for ten minutes after you cast it? That's concentration. Um... <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily consider these trees magical, honestly. That's why you didn't perceive anything, or perceive anything earlier. I'm not looking at the trees. Uh, no, you do not discern any magic other than what you previously identified. Fucking waffle irons. What? Oh, so it's, 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 it's a material plane, plane, plane thing. <laughs> it's a it's a tool, but you use the material plane to make. I'm not here. Tree. You don't have to explain yourself in character. <laughs> Baby, I ain't even here. I am an illusion. <laughs> it's a lake and illusion. I jump in the lake. <laughs> no, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Religious. So, so, like, what are we doing here, guys? Or are we just standing around, like, talk to tree? I knock on the ice. Okay. You You're not on the side that has I go ice. to ice and I knock on the ice. Just walk back over to bridge and knock on the ice. Scurvy. Cold. It's cold. It's full of cold. Nasty. Nasty. Alright. Footprints. They enter into the water, you say? Are they I head to it? I don't think they actually spoke of this. Oh. Alright. I had the rogue. And right. I had said, Have I been looking? That's rogue. And it was near the footprints, right. and he found it. I'm to figure out this entrance somehow. Do you guys find anything? I'm just trying so many things. Found the rogue. Baby, you found something, oh yeah? The the thingies that I found by, well, you found by my rock. Hang on, I'm messing in your DM something. Huh? Ooh, like it's amazing. You're not initiated. Look at the big There she is. I had zero self-control. My mom made this <laughs> my favorite snack for me, and I've eaten almost it, all of it. What was it? It's been one day. It's a ball of cheese. Oh, yeah. What is it? And nuts. Oh, that stuff is good. Yo, it's in... It's a cheese ball. Bacon, ranch powder, cheddar, cream cheese. Why don't you cheese. just figure out how to make it and keep it all the time? They also sell those it's at special. Walmart and the little bowl, but it's mom special. Make it. Look what my mama made a love. <laughs> it's special. It's adorable, bread. <laughs> anyway, um, Kai, what you doing? I don't know. I found a rogue. I got like one or two things to try that I'm just jumping the lake. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I had asked you about the... What I just messed with Megan, I was doing while you two were talking. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cool. <coughs> you get a lot of words. Nice. Um, this did well, I guess, I, guess I, I would share with Eula that Scara had found some footprints. They were leading towards the lake, maybe towards the lake. I go to look at the footprints. Mm-hmm. Aramis, mm-hmm. what are you doing? In the part that I remember. Oh, you have an idea. Holy yes, I remember because Elliot remembers it and focused on it was um, the, oh, oh. I see, I see, the entrance I see, I see. being beneath the half frozen moon. 17! Uh, oh shit, what did you do? Uh, 157. It's an advantage. Oh! Still 17? Yeah, still the 17. Okay. For the slot of hand. What are you stealing? Hmm? I'm not stealing anything. Just you keep anything. stealing from the party. This is gonna be I'm not stealing system. anything. Huh? What was your HP again? 157. Interesting, interesting. Very insightful. Ruined us. Imagine when she gets here. <laughs> Mm-hmm. About to get hurt. Probably. What did you do? Well, y'all will know if I get hurt. <laughs> you trying to like slide of hand the lake? <laughs> no. Do you slide the hand? Hmm? Do you slide the hand? We didn't. Y'all start. do not know. <laughs> Therefore, I will not say. <laughs> We didn't start the frost. I don't know. I'm trying to make it relevant to the story. Y'all keep talking. Uh, I need the DM, so I'm waiting. <clears throat> Just like 
Just Whisper is brought to you by. I'm so glad you. Oh yeah, did you show us no. where the footprints are? No, I showed. Kai did. Yeah, I showed. Kai showed uh, us. Yula, and if you were by Yula or came over, I was showing Yula. But what I was doing, this is why it's going to happen. Y'all may not have seen them yet. Because Eula also walked all the way back across the bridge and back over. It is seven. The frozen part was down. Uh, no, but now I have an idea of what you might be sleight of handing. It what? Takes Twelve seconds. What is your idea? Maybe those footprints look a little bit too familiar to some other footprints, and you just no. Okay. I don't know. You could have been trying to cover up the footprints. Take. I would have noticed because I'm looking right points. at them. Immediately. Whatever it was, it hurt him. What the fuck what did you, you do? Doing? What kind of damage did he take? Is it noticeable? For this current circumstance, I'm going to suggest you're distracted with okay. your rock. This is I was looking at the rock right now. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> I put okay, the rock so in my pocket. You are currently distracted by the footprint. And by Aramis and Eula coming up and you telling me this. Ah, nice, nice. Roll another sight. No advantage. Sixteen. What great. Especially if seventeen got you hurt. My no, that's not why I'm get doing slide of hand. My passive perception's a sixteen, so I would have noticed if we're doing that. Stuff. But are you were distracted for this? You she this specifically just said y'all are distracted. Because I have an 18. Mm-hmm. And I would have noticed she'd. For this particular circumstance, Kai, this is happening at the exact same time Kai is telling you about the footprint. Okay. not really. You're so, listening to me. Because of the conversational distraction, all of your passives have temporarily been lowered. Does that make sense? Okay. Not like significantly, it's like by two. Like so, Kai, I do have to. It's like you say hear three different things and you try to break. tune on one thing. Yeah. Pizza. Sorry. Okay. But you can message me your response and I can keep messaging you because this is secret. You know what? I saw something on TikTok I think it would be great to use. The uh, bathroom tokens. You can use it to use the bathroom or you can use it to roll advantage, but they can only be used one time during a campaign. Or during a, not campaign, but during a session at night. And let you go use the bathroom, or you get to roll with advantage. We're not in kindergarten, no. Sounds fun, but no. We get distracted, Tracy. And also, I did feed her pizza. She did eat half of the pizza. Well, that was her own <laughs> Yes, I understand. Mm-hmm. There is no paprika in it. Well, guys, you know what a cow would say about our current situation? No. It's an we are utter done. disaster. We're done. Roll, roll for his damage. I swear to God. Oh, damn, are you really milking this I rolled cow two. Bones? Fuck you. You get two. I swear to God, if you get more, I'm going to roll a hundred and roll a hundred. You cast harm. Wow, well, Elliot, you don't have a cow over these puns. I do. I have harm. Which one of you wants to fucking get it? Don't. Hey, it's okay. You don't have to be bashful. That was a good one. The DM laughed. I can't be damaged. The DM laughed. <laughs> you walked in on that one. <gasps> Did you just say you walked in on it? The DM made a joke. The DM made a funny. Wow, we're really getting Elliot's goat. I'm sorry. Fuck you guys. I don't want to play. I thought mine was clever. I'm dead. You know what he's thinking right now? <laughs> he's thinking, you can't to be kidding me right meow. I thought mine was clever. <laughs> These are just some bad jokes. This is just bad. Mine was subtle. It could easily be played off as not a fun. Goodbye. Catch up to the water. Well. Cloud up in the wall. Cloud is not up in the wall. Wow, Elliot's really getting battered by these puns. Get it? It's a bad pun. Who is listening to ducks? Hmm. What is in your hand, sir? Recipes. Oh, okay. They look like D and D stuff. 
Yeah, that's because they're really fancy. It's got a nice fancy wooden box to keep it in. So, do you guys want to, to describe this conversation you all are having over the footprints? So we're ah, I was just pointing out the footprints, and then so Yola was trying the to do something. Went. <gasps> but let's follow the footprints. We follow the footprints. Oh my god, we're following the footprints of the water line. I don't think there's a whole lot of them, but they do kind of stop there's at the like, water line. Do the footprints match Five the feet seven. of a certain person that I saw poof away from the house? You would have night. to do a history check to even see if you remember. Let's do that. I would Probably. like to try something. Okay. I would like to use shaped do water. History checks often. To create an empty cube, I will space wherever the footprints lead off. Okay, so you want to just clear the water? Yeah. Thirteen. No. Um. Mud. Because. Well, uh. I'm sorry. It's, it's a rocky, muddy bottom. I want to pick up a rock and throw it in the mud out of frustration. Rock break. Wow, I threw that rock hard. Wow, hit the mud. Is the is the whoa, 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 wait 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 wait? Is the water oh, still God. gone from right there? Like, do you still have it away? I touch the ground after the rock breaks. I cannot hear you. I am typing words. I cast fuck around and find out. <laughs> At some point, when do we just jump in the water? I mean, we're very close to it, darling. I have an idea. See, Megan told me a thing that Megan thought Scara was thinking, but Scara has not shared that with me, and I've asked kind of twice, like, what he thought about the ritual. So. Is Scara shutting you out, darling? Little bit. That's such a bad relationship. That is a red flag. Does anyone have any ball well, bearings? I didn't say or? all of it was good shit. Nope. nope. Not in this party. Nope. Does anyone have a crowbar? No. Wait, what do you ask for the first time? Damn. Ball bearings. It's too bad we don't have a bar. Does anyone literally have anything <laughs> solid and disposable? I have a long solid sword. It's not disposable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's a bad joke. What, while, what, while is your holding... kit? what is your starting kit? Look in your starting kit. I, I already have. Crawl. What is your starting kit that you have? <sighs> It's a priest kit, isn't it? A priest pack? Megan? Yeah, I think so. Bradley. Did I actually remember While I'm shaping it down? the water, no, no, I'm going to draw a small bit away from it and coalesce it to an ice ball in Eula's hand. Throw, it, throw that at the ground, will you? As hard as you can. Right where the mud is. I touched the mud. What did I feel when I touched the mud, by the way? Bitter cold, like it's seeping the warmth from your arm. Was it hard, though, or was it... It's mud. When you apply the pressure, it was pretty solid. But when you just eased your hand onto it... So it's an oobleck. <laughs> okay, I have the, the snowball. Yeah! <clears throat> throw it at the ground. I had fucking cow jokes again. It's an ice ball. I throw it at the ground. Oh. Hard. Alright, we're trying something else. Do a strength check for me. See how I knew I was doing this? That's a check. I need to not bring your pigs. I'm gonna get it. I need to not bring your pigs. Okay. 21. Okay, sure? mm-hmm. perfect. It has cracked. Okay, I would like to try something else now. Yes. With one hand holding the water, the other finger, I'm going to create a little, I'm going to create a fireball and I'm going to shove it to the ground. Okay. You do that. It fizzles out. Very cool. Burr. Nope, don't put your foot. Fireball is a cantrip, right? That is the yeah. one I'm remembering. Yes. Yeah. Thoughts have thoughted. It's my grandma's cheesecake. Hey, Remus. What? I'm trying to read my grandma's cursive. I'm. Wait. Goliaths? Like cheesecake and make cheesecake? That just seemed like something a Goliath would not do. You know nothing of our strange ways, you harlot. I honestly don't. That's why I'm what asking. It just out? seems like something that Goliath wouldn't do. I'm surprised uh, Goliath didn't no tell cheesecake. me how much damage I took. I took 13, 16, you didn't tell me Goliath. Goliath cheese. 
Yes, but it's a cake. You have to also have flour, eggs, and Wait. very like skilled baking. Clearly, things. you've never Hunter had Goliath cheesecake. I have not. Would you, you like to make Goliath cheesecake for me? That's no, because some... it's been years since I've had Goliath cheesecake, let alone made it. We could oh, figure out. down to fifty-four. How to make mm. it? But I feel like this is not what this is will as important. Echo. Right now, you're gonna say it to me, so everyone hears what you're saying. Mm-hmm. All right. This will no longer be in your head. Okay. Blood shows the way. All of the blood you have currently given thus far. You were giving blood to the Feywild. Wow, that was the next thing. I was I not could. giving. I don't know what I was giving blood to. Actually, fuck you. Where did you put the blood? <laughs> I spin around looking for whatever the fuck blood shows the way. Scara is Sad. bleeding. Right, you want me to tell him what it is? Mm-hmm. So, where Kai uh-huh. pointed to footprints, mm-hmm. Scara is crouched to the ground with an arrow in his hand, digging it into his arms. So how did we not see this? We were the right there. pouring blood. Over the footprints. <sighs> and There's now, as a roll that you guys don't hear that is affecting your perception of this, I will state that. Wait, what? I'm confused by what we just said. Them asking, like, why, ha- like, how did we miss that? Uh huh. That is my response. Oh, okay. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> In a very. He's a little hurt voice, you hear. She said it was paved with blood. And you couldn't And I gave have... the blood that was needed. Heal your dumbass. You know, boyfriend. usually whenever I do dumb shit, at least I'm smart enough to let the other party know it's happening. And at least have someone around. What the fuck? It had to be by myself. And in my own name. Who said we would have stopped you? We just would have liked to have been informed. Just to know that you are actively hurting yourself in an already very dangerous situation. I'm not going to stop you. Think of half the stunts I pull. So like it. Next time I do an experiment, I'll check a fireball in the middle of my chest plate and not tell any of you. <sighs> like, that that's the energy you're giving off, my guy. Like, we're, we gotta we got do what's necessary to do this stuff, but... Is she still digging in... Is he still digging into his arm with an arrow, by the way? No, the moment he heard that voice, he realized that what he was doing was done, and he pulled it out. Wiped it off, and put it back. Mm-hmm. Would no. you like to go... He- Can like- you let me hear what I just got done? <laughs> Please? Alright, continue. Because y'all did not have time actually for this conversation by what you look or by what is happening for what Scara just worked for to then get yelled at. But I want to know what Scara just got done. Please, Dia. Yes, I am. I'm drawing. Oh, I got it. You're drawing. I'm doing things. Do we continue to talk while the drawing is happening or do we wait? No. I would prefer waiting, but I will not force it. Alright, I shall wait. Oh, baby I stare down at you. Mm-hmm. By the way, I, I walk off to, to you while I'm yelling. Follow. Your blood. Because if we're being honest, hang on. If we're being honest, whatever she just says is going to change what Scara actually says to y'all. Because he may not say shit and just go. <laughs> By the way, whenever. I, just so it's known. Thing said that phrase out loud. Yeah, everyone yes. heard it. I'm saying, Scara responding. To if Eula said anything. Because if Scarra sees his blood go and something happens, he's just going. Not gonna really say, was, let's go this way. While I was talking, I was walking over Scarra the entire time. I wanted that to be known as well. I was walking too Scarra. Okay, so pause, pause, pause. Before I describe the current scene, let me get a little bit of a head count. What is everyone doing as soon as they hear that very ghastly um, voice? Looking around. Particularly very similar to when you read the Dark Brotherhood quest line and you're like, the doll speaks to you. Oh, I hate that voice. I love that voice. It's horrible. I know, it's one of my I know nothing of what was just said, but okay. Giving yeah. Scaramouche death. I really yeah. liked that. I was, I'm walking over to her after seeing Scara, to her. Say, him, after seeing Scara the way he is, and asking all the questions that I said it. Do you want me to re- say? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? I want to know what happened there first. 
to okay. know if he responds. What are you doing? What are, I need to know, I know if they are going towards you or if they're. And his situation. I'm guessing the situation is just following me this time because he's out yes. in the back. Okay. Fucking JoJo walking towards this guy and giving him a death glare. I would have been following you, because I was talking to Yula when I heard the voice. Also, everyone say hi to Tab too. Hi. hi. She's not on the phone. Tab always gonna... said hi. He told us everyone say hi. Hi. Anyways, um. Hi. I'm guessing this is kind of a walking order right now. We're walking over there to the dumbass. So. It's not technically a dumbass. It's probably a really smart move, but you know. That's what you were thinking. <laughs> um. The pool of blood that you have been accumulating. Essentially, you watch as it gets rapidly absorbed into the mud itself. And at first, you kind of think. Was this just a scam? Did I just get conned? Or is this meaning down? And then you watch, almost with horror, as a thin trail of blood seeps up from the mud. Particularly in this particular pattern. And it leads you to a tree. Perfectly in the middle of the two mountains. On this side of the lake, which is at a higher elevation than this lower side. It is also not in a forest, it is just straight up the grassy, rocky, wasteland kind of thing. This one tree is one of the, like, handful that line the very edge of this lake. It's almost jarring how few trees are on the other side because from your angle up, it looked like there were more and then you get there and there is just essentially a shift of dried grass to rock the rest of the way. You will have to climb and I will make you make the checks. Um, do an athletics check for me. Right, so we're all following her at this point. Or following him at this point, sorry. Also, she said. 22. Successfully follow up the mountain. It is not super tall. It is just essentially like a short, like, 25-ish foot wall. What do you do? I'm following him. Scared. Talking to him. All right. And saying, if this is when we say this stuff, like, at least whenever I do dumb stuff, I let people know at least one person just for security reasons. I'm not ever going to stop you from it. Look at me and all the dumb shit that I've done. There's no response. He's really focused on trying to figure out what this, what is going on, what he just figured out. Kai? Apparently he cannot multitask. Huh? Kai's not saying anything. Uh-oh. Um. Kai's what? He's not saying anything. Aramis? I got nothing. Just walking along. So Eula's just tearing in to Scarra. I made athletics checks from everybody in the party except Scarra because he has already given mine. 27. Hmm. Kai, if you would prefer to use your acrobatics specifically for your pre-existing Absolutely not. Athletics is the thing you let me have, not acrobatics. 22. Okay, so you can successfully follow. 16. 7. Situation got a 17. Emotions you currently feel due to this discovery (laughs) make this a little bit harder. You kind of slip up a bit. You still can get up there, but it's a struggle, and you scrape your knee and take two points of... Damn it, that's all the trash truck. Um. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Damn, Damn it, that's all the trash truck. truck. <laughs> you were helpful! I was also looking at the trash truck, I just didn't fall. My knee's still hurt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He said it took two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bludgeoning. Uh, situation rolled a 17. Situation is not graceful there. He's a cute one. Four points. He's a cute one though. Of also bludgeoning. That's okay. He's cute. Now then, when you get to this jarring site in front of you, Sarah, 
you particularly see the trail of blood doesn't stay. It almost is like following you. So you continue following this path that it is guiding you towards. And when it gets to this tree, the thin trail it had to been guiding you with kind of turns into a pool of blood equal to the pool that you had left. And I'm get, it's scarce said anything back to Eula during this entire time because Eula is like it does not move talking to you. No. He just bled a lot. He is in pain and he's currently just getting yelled at. No, he's not talking to you. What did you find? What are you thinking? Say something. Tell me to shut up, but say something. Aya told us in the letter the trail or the. This is scary. This is always scary. I love this in character shit. It's great. <laughs> it is lined with bloodshed. There were feet prints. Nothing else. I gave blood just a small amount to see what would happen. Then the voice y'all heard was talking to me in my head and told me I needed to give more. Hang on, let me read exactly what was that. <laughs> It told me, I asked it nicely, can I please get entrance into your catacombs that you were housing? And it has said in it, you desire entrance, give me more of your essence, and I shall aid you. So I cut myself more. He said more. You've given much in the name of others. I need you to give in the name of yourself. And so I gave in the name of myself. And sacrificed more of my blood for knowledge. And he helped. By leading us to this tree. What do you mean by what you just sent me? Next, you bleed again. Oh, so do I need to bleed again? No. Oh. This is just a parting. Oh, okay. Good, good. I was like, am I needing to do that again? Did he say what to do with this tree? No. <sighs> but we have been brought to this tree specifically. How is how is scared looking right now? He is a pale, and by the time the sand runs out, he will take a point of exhaustion due to losing more than half of his health in essentially a single turn. What the fuck? He is at 54 of 157. I cast Cure Wounds. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to text you something, and it will be something only you notice at this given point. You heal 16 hit points. I heal 20 hit points. (sighs) It's hard for us to make sure you're okay if we don't notice you bleeding out behind us. I didn't know I was going to be bleeding out. You just told us we're going to bleed. Oh, that's fine. You you don't know much on that. I guess I get that. I expected just to cut myself, take a normal small amount of damage, and be fine. Next time, if a voice talks to you and tells you, "Hey, you should bleed for me," let's just inform at least whoever you're with that time that that's about to happen just so they can watch on you. Especially if it's a voice that sounded like that one. Because 
By the way, a uh, question for you. Did mm-hmm. this? Did that voice sound similar to the Fey Wild whenever I talked to it? The magic? Roll a history check. Do I get advantage because I most recently no. talked to it after bleeding myself to one HP? Yeah. God damn it. I would also like to walk up to Scaring Wish. Seventeen. It seemed at least like an aspect of the voice you heard because the voice you heard tried to be more neutral. That one seemed more malicious. That one seemed not malicious. Forceful? A little bit more forceful with its... A bit more forceful, yes. And a bit more... Prying. It's skirmish me. Especially because that voice... This is what I would have been saying at the same time. I'm sorry. And then you can come to your thing. Especially when that voice sounds like the Feywild itself. It didn't sound exactly like it, but... Could I be able to say that I feel like it was the Feywild, knowing that it specifically said you've given blood for, for uh, in the name of others, and um, I definitely know I've given blood to this Feywild in the name of others a lot. That's kind of scary. job. You hmm. Hmm. You can say what you assume. I shall not stop you. I just meant, would that be... If, if it's something scary I did assume, would he be able to say that? Like if he does assume that it is the Feywild, well, would he? Yes, you can. I just said you can okay. say what you assume. I'm fairly certain it was the Feywild because it specifically said, "You give blood in the name of others, and you must give it in the name of yourself." And I have given blood to this Feywild in the name of my mother more times than I can count. <sighs> Aramis, darling, you were yeah, saying something. Sorry for it cutting you off. All right, come here. I literally am just crouched by the blood. I am still in pain. I am not moving. Did I avoid his point of exhaustion by healing him? Oh. Give me the part where you hurt yourself. Um. I just held out my left hand. This is the one I was cutting myself open with. Uh, repeat what everyone just said. I was responding to the message. Does, do I, uh... Avert the point of exhaustion by healing him. Uh, Scar, are you at half health? What's 157 divided by 2? If Scar is at half health, then no. 78.9. No. no. Cool. Same point. What? Well, had... no, um, and for you, Kai, what did you say again? I wanted to investigate what you had sent me. You have uh, a health potion that Eula's given you. You have two. Normal health potions. I'd be guiding myself. Alright. I thought that this one would have probably tried to heal me, but I think what Megan sent him distracted him. Yeah. I wouldn't assume. You did hurt his feelings. 24. Well, I don't know what I did. I was just saying. Yeah. Plus, Eula was in the front charge, and he might have been uh, Eula healed. Yes, Aramis. I was waiting patiently to do a thing. Oh, well, okay. Well, you're going to help. Bit audacious to assume healing. Um... Generally speaking, assume no healing until discussions are had. Um, you, what are you doing? Talking to Scare. Hold your wound up. The game, my left arm is out. Okay. I'd say, I know Malachi, but I've been working on a thing that might be able to help me with this sort of thing. And I'm going to pull out a small device that looks like a cross with ornate geometric carvings on it. And I'm just going to slap it on the middle of your wound. Ow! Did you do this while Eula was talking to me? You did what? Uh, I actually I finished, I finished talking. I was like, sorry, darling, you said you wanted him for something. Sorry for cutting you off. I apologize to him, and then this has happened. Oh, okay. Well, when you were talking, you said he wanted to walk up, so I wasn't sure. A small needle pierces the wound. The cross rotates, clamps on your arm, raises up, and starts spraying a little healing self. I cast cure wounds on you. <gasps> Did you mechanica? Did you mechanically make your wounds? That is so fancy. I love that. Dude, I love that. That is we amazing. Look, she's doing my a happy pal. That's why I asked if you were doing it while Eula was talking, because you said you wanted to. Absolutely not. Where'd my D8 go? Nah. Remember, add your spellcasting. Uh, because if you did, I wouldn't take a point of exhaustion. But because Eula kept talking, I took a point of exhaustion. I don't know. 
<clears throat> decide what you want to do. You gain nine points of healing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, nine? Yeah, it's one d eight plus your spell uh, spellcasting mod. Why is your spellcasting mod only a plus one? That's a plus seven. Oh, you so you got eleven on it. That's my spell attack bonus. That's what you add. That's your spellcasting modifier. No, this you're is just your spellcasting ability. Which that's is... for attacks. Your spellcasting modifier is what you use, like wisdom for me. Yeah, so that's different. Four. And then I calculated my thing wrong. You get less healing from me. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> but yeah, nine hit points. We do not have to recon this because so get it's already taken effect. Alright. But we know for future reference. Okay, got it. There's a small glowing blue liquid in it, and as it does this little spray bit, it goes down until it depletes. At which point, it goes back into its... It, um, it furls back, goes into a cross shape, and pops off your arm. Performance performance suboptimal, but we can keep working on it. You just kind of look down, I'm like... It's probably the coolest way I've ever gotten healed in my life. Is that something new? Yeah. Ouch. He slapped a ball so that then wrapped around when my arm, you lifted up, that? and went, so. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Well, I might have to change the surface for that. It was really nice. When it did you nice make that? that? Yeah, it's under a little working out a little bit in secret lately. Like, like, me. That is okay. so impressive. That was... That is, I'm in shock. That was impressive. Okay, I might, I won't be an artificer, but I might have to flavor some of my spells as gadgets later. That is beautiful. I love that. Just because that was neat. I have to take a full rest to get that point of exhaustion away now, don't I? Or you could ask one of the two people that can cast Greater Restoration to cast it on you because then it removes a point of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but y'all don't need to use your spell slots. I mean, it's exactly. only a fifth level spell. spell. You're good. Hmm? It's only a fifth level spell. Only fifth level. I only have, like, two or three of those. A B C D I also love how apparently none of y'all thought Scara cuts himself often. I'm Maybe that's why he's slide of handing. No, what are you stealing from us? Are you trying to wipe up footprints because they look too much like someone else's? Well, you stole from me last one. That's the reason I thought of it. It was my third idea. It's just I thought that I had said too much, so I kept it to myself. I didn't want to affect other people's decisions. <sighs> the language stayed the same, by the way. Nice. <sighs> Fuck your stick bug shit. Now you've got to be the, the arm man in front of all the... The inflatable man? Yes. <laughs> I go up this to the tree at this point. Adjustment. There is, um, I think. As I walk up to the tree, I there turn. is thing. A what? There is thing. There is door. There is handle. Those words. You remember the first thing I described to you? Mm hmm. What you saw being absorbed into the ground fills the carved words you read. And a bit of the edges, but. Do with that what you will. That's more of a physical detail from your previous investigation. <laughs> this very much screams, Kai, don't fucking touch anything. <laughs> At the end, especially. <laughs> um. Nah. So, while we were all bickering and yelling at Scarab. 
even though I let my heart, he didn't want to tell us that he was going to fucking bleed. It's okay, are you feeling better? Do you need more help? It still hurts. P pretty good amount. Okay, so more help as I uh, explained the thing. So I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. At, um, fourth. But, um, I watched your blood kind of look like it's sort of made a door-like shape. It was weird. I need one more. It's not great, babe. Twenty-two. If you are above half health at this point, I will permit the point of exhaustion to be taken off. Oh, I was above half health when he gave it to me. Okay, that helps a little. I was literally four, four above less than when you looked at it. I would have probably made it to be at least ten or more above half health, but yes. I was four below half when you looked when you asked about you listening. Mm -hmm. Just doing this. Uh, yeah, it was like a little door ship because it looked like it tried to mimic a sort of trap door ship. And there's some primordial things so you get to learn some new words, babe. Um, and they're written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're written so you can say I can learn them easier. <laughs> whisper with reverence when you walk amongst the denizens Sorry, of wait, the city of again. bones. Whisper with reverence when you walk amongst the denizens of the city of bones. And then I was digging around a little bit more, and I assume the other part is also written at the bottom of the last one. Mm -hmm. And then it says, Beware all life you wish to walk beside the dead, lest you join the city. So it screams, kind, don't touch things. While he's telling you this, if you're still looking rough, uh, you'll have hand you a small red glass vial. Self potion. I also need to mark the cops. Drink two, roll 2d4. Two Good <laughs> help. <laughs> you rolled 2d4, you healing stick. Add two to that. 2d4 plus 2 is how much you heal. So, maximum of 10 hit points. It ain't gonna be much. These are, hey, you're about to die, bring you back to life. <laughs> okay. I'm only 33 hit points down. I can change that. Please don't. No, we all literally healed him. No. <laughs> I would just pump so much healing gauze into this man. <laughs> If you guys ever wanted to experiment with soaking the gauze in a healing potion, it would work. <gasps> I'm so mad that I have not bought that. <laughs> I have that shit. I Why have four healing potions. I gave you two, and I gave you two healing potions. I don't know what, you, what y'all done with them in that time. I wrote them down. I don't know if y'all used them or no. not. So. Any who's it? Any what's it? Reactions and responses. So is it? Look at our professor stuff. Okay. If Kai wraps my arm in the in gauze, will it heal while we're I don't think you need to wrap doing it anything up. else? It would have to be a higher healing potion than you have thus far. I don't think... Uh, if we put two minor healings on it at once, no. would it heal it? Don't waste your healing potions. But I need to be healed! You, you could just fine. drink the potion. You have more health than Wait. I do now. Wait. Oh, never mind. You could You're still literally... just drink the potions. I wanted to let Kai wrap it oh, around okay. my arm. I was also going to say, like, wouldn't the blood have already frozen over and formed like an ice scab? I mean, no. I don't think blood freezes. It does it's not. Blood the same. It does not. Uh, it does not. Uh, well, it it coagulates. And it's gross and goopy. But Scared Nothing needs to grab a frag in his water skin and like... Oh yeah, that'll make it freeze. I know. <laughs> He's not Any doing it. Any what Are you telling everyone that or just scare that about the door? You literally said it out loud. I nice. did. I was telling everyone. I need to read what it said because that... I could not hear it. It's going to open the door. So is that or all that it says? Hmm? Yeah, I have to go trap the door. It's a bit of a heavy pull. Like, it hasn't been opened in a long time. So you just kind of... <laughs> Aramis, help <laughs> Wait, me. Wait, I'm not done. Okay. I'm sorry. <clears throat> And you're just kind of like, you plant your feet really hard, and you just kind of pull it. Oh, this creaks. This son of a bitch. Heavy, heavy. As he's opening it Damn, more scared. like this more than you. before, was it just, were there only primordial words written around it, or was there anything else? As far as I know, it's primordial.
It is dark down there. But and you hear like a faint splash of water. Mm. Nice. Twenty-three. I'll be primordial. Right. I know. Primordial to twenty-seven. I was just gonna let you dry. I don't know. Seems there's like something besides primordial. Hold up twenty-seven. That you might need someone else to read. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. It's close. <laughs> yeah. That's over enough. the twenty. But. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to really no, quick roll. Okay, sorry, no, no, that was please don't bullshit damage, please don't bullshit damage. I'm getting some bullshit damage. Eight! You got lucky. We've talked about this. We have talked about this. I'm sorry, I slipped So is this like a else. dark, dark thing that people with um, dark vision cannot see? Or? No, you can see. Okay. You can see there is a wood in the ladder. Why wouldn't I look at your browser? It's pretty fabulous. And all those delicious things tend to be around the boat. Why would I want to look at your browser history? Babe, you're going to hate this. Remember, we can shower as soon as we get out of this. Yeah, I don't want to imagine what weird... Wait, what did you just say? I just walked out. I was trying to write everything down. What did you just say? I said, babe, you're going to hate this. No, her. What'd she explain? There's a rickety looking wooden ladder. And when I'm saying wooden, I'm not meaning like the ones you find in like old barn houses. I mean, it looks like it's made of sticks. How oh, big sticks? Oh, like, like twig sticks? Like, like that arm thick. It's fine. Let's test it. Well. Bradley arm thick? Bradley no. arm thick. This is fine. Let's go. I punched the first rung. Fucker, don't break the ladder. Roll strength check. Why? I'm trying to live. Um, and there's also a lot of dust. And cobwebs and all the general gross oh sneezy things. I rolled a natural 19, so 20, 24. I'm gonna push your ass. Down. I'm not trying to break it, I'm just seeing if it would like withstand pressure. Five points of bludgeoning damage. This song may hurt. Thank you. Like to me or to yeah. the thing? Oh. You. This does an owie. It's cold wood. <gasps> Is it cold? You can roll an investigation check to see, but any who's it's... Do I get advantage from talking to Coldwood? No, doing... you do not get advantage Dude. just because you saw Coldwood. Never... That would be like saying, I saw a mahogany cabinet one time! I just saw like five seconds ago and I talked to it. And I talked to it. I will be able to identify every ounce of mahogany furniture <laughs> in the next and year! And the haggity cat. Wait, you know what? Well, you want to know? You want to know something? You want to know something? Fuck you, 29. <laughs> I saw the Haggity Cat. No! Oh, shit. I saw it's that. It's just petrified wood! I saw yeah. my Haggity Cabinet once 10 hours ago. I'd like advantage against the. I'd like advantage against the. Hang it down. Please. Down to that. Okay. I choose. Motherfuckers, they don't dust. My shit. I put situation in the bag because I don't think he can, you know, climb down a ladder. Who's that? Lighting in a ghastly purple fire. Mm. The guy gets excited. Now it is dim light, not dark. And this is when you notice you are in a stone room. A stone room, you say? Nice. A stone room. And the water you heard <laughs> is actually water version. Like you're essentially in like. Need to draw. Fuck. <laughs> Panic. Did you not think we would get here? Yeah, I, didn't, not, I didn't think you would get here, actually. Panic, panic not, my friend. We do this for fun. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyone on this phone? It's only nine. Just have it. So you can still play for a little bit more. I'm sorry. I just need to get a walk around. So. Hey, can I ask you a question, DM? What? What was your other entrance? And was this one the hard You're one? You're about to find out. Oh, okay. Was this one the hard one? Yes. Yes! I told you I was going to find it! <laughs> I told you the one on land was the hard one. I think it's hard because Fuck, you mean the one on land. I'm sure there's one underneath. Fuck, you mean the one on land. There was one You guys the thought there was one beneath the water. I said, no, nah, fuck it, there's probably one on land. I told Megan this whole thing. She knew I was doing it before tonight. Yeah, you told me in the car and then you just... And I told I her, I feel like the one on land is probably the hardest one. Hmm? Okay, so this is a very bad drawing and this is more rough in texture because rock. The ladder is here. There is a door here, there are torches here, and this is water. And upon further inspection, you realize you are in an underwater cave that has an air pocket. Nice. Nice. That is the lake. Splish splash. So that is... I was taking... So we basically have a good water. 
It's what? It is inky black water at this given point. Don't with taste. a faint purple glow because of torches that have lit themselves upon your arrival. So how would we have come that way? Would we, would we have had to swim? Swim with investigation checks. How the hell would we have held our breath? You can hold your breath in D&D. Uh, D &D um, but I would have made you roll a constitution saving throw to make sure you didn't go into shock because of the water. I was like, it was cold fucking water. Yeah. It's if you managed to not go into shock, your amount of air that you could, like, hold, your, the amount of time you could hold your breath would have just been halved. <sighs> and once you passed the first, uh, check for if you go into shock, I wouldn't have made you roll that again. Well, the ladder holds. I follow down, but I put situation in the bag. I also just went down. I went down right after him. Yeah. The moment he turned to go down, I just went down. Also, his health is fine. His health is higher than mine now. He's it's higher than my max, babe. Bradley, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm just going to have to walk around. I'm just going to see. Are you walking down the ladder? Um, are are you down with us? Are you, walk down the ladder with us. Are you anti to the point where you're not going to focus and we should end right here where we got into the catacombs? I am starting to lose focus yet. Yeah. But it's up to you guys because I'm just one person. Is there bad we can end it where you guys have found the doorway. Megan, in turn, once again said she did not expect us to make it in the doorway. So she's like, do you need to plan some more? No? No. No, she has awesome. a plan. Love it. Let's say we are arrived at the doorway. Oh, fuck, a door. Neat. That's the session ends. I'm kidding. No, I don't, I don't determine that. If y'all want to, I'm down. Are there bad things behind the door? Like, I want to know what's behind the door, but I also want to stop. I specified it was a door, but in all reality, when you look at this door, you see yourself. It's going to be more puzzle shit. We can stop here. I don't want to think anymore. I think it's for losers. <laughs> which is why we think a lot. You see yourself? Mm-hmm. It's a mirror. <laughs> oh, this is going to be some Harry look, Potter look, look, bullshit. Look, look, I can door. tell already. Oh, the rock is in my pocket. How big is the stone room? Have you created? Have you thought about how big you're making it? Nope. Sixty feet across. It's okay. Kind of circleish. Circleish. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> Good question, babe. Diameter. The door slash mirror thingy is. He just stabbed. Excuse me. Is five feet wide, nine feet tall. Can't believe it took a step here. That's the reflective bit you see. Five feet wide, nine feet tall. Does this mirror look familiar to me? No. Roll a history check? Does it look like the mirror I got from Barney is what I'm asking? Uh-uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you're like, do I know these things? No, you know you do not. <laughs> I'm just saying if it was You didn't even know why, same. like, how you were born. You don't even know who the <laughs> Why do you always ask if you know things? You don't even know who Because I can you. trigger memories for on things. And because, you know, I do know things. You don't even know I'm not a newborn babe. Yes, you are. You're five. You don't remember anything from five years. Um, More than five years ago. Well, draconic history is we were not sold. We were made by dragons. Uh-huh. To be slaves. So, Megan, what did you think when I told you earlier dragons that that is what I was going to do? I'm going to use the voice from the door. It's my favorite voice. The door <laughs> voice. That's Did you voice. expect me to have Bye. Bye. Did you expect me to attempt to kill you? Yes. What? Bye guys! Bye bye! Ciao, Tuesday. Maybe we'll get up the four stuff.